And in less than two days, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are going to be in Philadelphia for their first presidential debate. Kamala Harris in Pittsburgh preparing with a team of advisors, though she did take some time to step out for fresh air over the weekend. Meantime, as Carissa Lawson reports, Mr. Trump has been sharpening his attacks on the campaign trail. Vice President Kamala Harris took a break from debate prep for a Sunday stroll with second gentleman Doug Emhoff. Are you ready, Madam Vice President? Ready. On Saturday, the Vice President greeted shoppers at a spice store in Pittsburgh. We're going to be fine. We are all in this together. Yes, we are. Over the weekend, the Harris Walsh campaign also unveiled its policy webpage, outlining proposals on key issues such as the economy, crime, and immigration, just in time for Tuesday's high stakes debate against former President Donald Trump. Is anybody going to be watching? While campaigning in Wisconsin Saturday, the former president hurled insults at Harris and President Joe Biden. We have the dumbest leaders in the history of our country, in the history of the world. On social media, Trump also falsely claimed there was rampant cheating in the 2020 election and that there could be more in 2024, writing, quote, when I win, those people that cheated will be prosecuted, which will include long-term prison sentences. It prompted this rebuke from second gentleman Doug Emhoff on Sunday. It's unhinged. It's anti-American. And guess what? We are not afraid. The latest CBS News battleground poll shows razor thin margins between the two candidates in Wisconsin, as well as Pennsylvania and Michigan. The candidates are set to spend time in those and other key battleground states after Tuesday's highly anticipated debate. Carissa Lawson, CBS News. Over the weekend, Vice President Kamala Harris said she was honored to have picked up the endorsements of two prominent Republicans, former Vice President Dick Cheney and his daughter, former Congresswoman Liz Cheney. Online, former President Donald Trump called the elder Cheney, quote, irrelevant. 